One Dance Volume 4 review, Breaking, the most popular style of street dance, also known as break dancing or beat boying, Kabo and Senpai and Iori are getting to know each other and their dance moves better. Now seeing Iori dance the real house music for the first time, he looks so cool. Kabo thinks admiringly, he looks as if he is the music. Kabo is eager to learn more moves like windmill and goes along with Iori to watch endless battle. We see young prodigy Gako Kabea complete alongside older break dancers. We really meet Gako at the end of volume 3. When we saw him being told of, of an angry customer at the Kumbini, who he works part time for not addressing her politely, this break dancer knows he's good and has a certain arrogance that comes from supreme self confidence and his own talent. But we can give Gobble any advice. He and Yori can get on, even though he seems to respect each other's skills as dancers. Meanwhile, Gobble and Wanda are devoting all their free time to practice and learning how technique, new techniques. Unfortunately, this can be done in school. And not because someone complained about the music and dance has been officially banned. Now they find themselves going at night time with Yori to the park where the B boys hang out. Well, Wanda and Kabo are learning, learning as much as they can to gain greater experience. The school year is ticking past an Anchan, the third year president and driving force behind the school dance club, will be leaving. She wants to appoint Yori and her place, but he's still far from sure about this. With the new inter high school contest looming, he's thinking more about enter 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 the soul division, rather than choreographing a group entry. Does he lack confidence in his teaching skills? Anchan will be a hard act to follow. And as for Kabo and Wanda, they are still very sweetly rooting for each other at the next contest. Each one wanting to do their very best, so they don't let their own other down. But the competition is first, and perhaps Kabo is trying too hard. Void for Wanda delivers another fascinating exploration of the world of street dance. Seen through the eyes of first year, Kabuko, a rising convert and potentially a talented dancer. Nevertheless, by the fourth volume of the manga, I'll be expecting to have a much greater sense of connection with the main characters than the film with Kabo, Wanda, Ayori, and their contemporaries. There's no doubt the manga Kakofi has a gift for portraying dance and dancers, and the dance sequences are just as breathtaking as in the earlier volumes. If not better, the drawing. But though it makes sense, it, this is, after all, a manga about dance and the transformative power of pa dance. As a ten dance are welcome to the ballroom, by the respective mangaka also capturing the main characters ballroom dancing on the page in an inspiring way, there's still a certain lack of reader engagement, even given that Kabo starter makes him a character you really want to root for. This might be because the manga's main strength, the lock sequences, devoted to dance, they take up so much of the narration that there just isn't as much room for the characters' daily lives. It's not until the two-page preview at the end of Volume 5 that we see Kabo's feelings for Wanda right large. Almost as a Kofi realized that the vital element of the story was being neglected. That said, we're reminded that Kabo's daughter is a very real epi epidemic. The color blind test for getting a driving license it requires quick verbal answers. The random smartphone battery that means he can show his daughter alert this pain this pemia screen to tell others but he can help can reply quickly or all, at all to the questions. At the plus side, Kofi probably knows a lot and has done a lot of research about street dance and the manga and is in earlier volumes, names dance tracks for artists like Kraftwerk, Black Street, Limp Biscuit, etc. and gives fascinating explanations about those techniques involved, which sometimes we hear as the dancers talk to each other about what they're doing. The scenes at night are at most spherically drawn, whether it's dancers in the local park or in the club venue, you can almost feel the beats. It's so loud. It's like the bass nose go right into my bones. Couple things, even my clothes are shaking. Kevin Senbach again provides a good translation for the Kodansha edition that covers everything from the casual dance floor chat of the dancers to all the technical terms employed. The detailed translation notes at the back are really helpful too. One does continues to pop dazzle with the street art style and the impressive way Kofi captures the atmosphere of the dance battles. Volume 5 is currently on Kodansha's website, but Amazon has a date on 23rd of May, so we shall see. 8 out of 10.